Thanks for watching Squirrel Fun. Comment below and let me know what you would like to see in future videos. Subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever I upload something new. Check out some of my other videos for short trivia lessons and quick bits of knowledge so that you can learn something new every day, even with your busy schedule. Peace, love, rock and roll. Enjoy! Most sources will tell you that the first novel written on a typewriter was The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. Strangely, Twain himself is the source of this persistent near falsehood. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer wasn't the first novel written on a typewriter, but another of Mark Twain's books, Life on the Mississippi, most likely was. In a letter Twain wrote in 1904, he said, I will now claim, until dispossessed, that I was the first person in the world to apply the type machine to literature. That book must have been The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. I wrote the first half of it in 1872, the rest of it in 1874. My machinist type copied a book for me in 74, so I concluded it was that one. Although Twain sounds fairly sure of himself in that statement, one of his biographers later investigated the claim and determined that Twain's machinist had actually typed Life on the Mississippi, which was submitted to publishing companies in 1883 as a typewritten manuscript. The Shoals and Glidden typewriter was invented in 1868 and first sold in 1874 by E. Remington and Sons, a manufacturer of firearms and sewing machines. The early models were clunky and difficult to work with, but Twain was enthusiastic about publishing innovations, so he bought one of the first upon their debut. The typewriter introduced the QWERTY keyboard in order to allow common letter pairs to reside on different type bars, preventing frequent jamming. Twain was working on The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn in 1874, but he wasn't sure which of his books was the first to be tapped out on that particular typewriter. Twain had a difficult time learning to use his new typewriter, so he pawned it off on his friend, William Dean Howells, author of the novel The Rise of Silas Lapham. In a 1904 biographical piece, Twain confesses that the machine was full of caprices, full of defects, devilish ones. It had as many immoralities as the machine of today has virtues. After a year or so, I found it was degrading my character, so I thought I would give it to, the, to Howells. He took it home to Boston, and my morals began to improve but his have never recovered.